These days, five Nobel Prize winners are in Yerevan to take part in the Nobel Days in Yerevan scientific event organized by the Yerevan State Medical University. For three days in a row from April 12th till April 14th, renowned scientists will discuss their discoveries, scientific achievements and their journey to scientific success in a series of public and specialized lectures. This is an opportunity for the Armenian researchers, medical students and aspiring scientists to hear the authors of the discoveries that have become an integral part of the world's scientific heritage. Four scientists, Aaron Chekhanover, Dan Schachtman and Ada Yonet from Israel, A.E. Shinagishi from Japan, delivered public lectures on subjects like personalized medicine, the pursuit of dreams, fostering scientific education and advances in contemporary medicine. They also advised young scientists on effective planning of research projects and ways that lead to success. Students from the Yerevan State Medical University believe that this is a great chance to receive first-hand information about some of the most important scientific discoveries, get inspired and start to create in the hopes of one day becoming Nobel Prize winners themselves. The event may also encourage young Armenian scientists to step up their involvement in international scientific communities. Ada Yonat, best known for her pioneering work on the structure of the ribosome, is the first woman from the Middle East to win a Nobel Prize in science and the first woman in 45 years to win the Nobel Prize for chemistry. Today she delivered a lecture on contemporary medicine. Aaron Chohanover, known for personalized medicine, elaborated on his scientific thoughts on whether humanity can cure all diseases and at what price. He first visited Armenia six years ago and is quite familiar with both the scientific potential of the country and the political situation. You just came out of big oppression during the communist time, so you are starting. But I think that you are ideally located in order to develop science. You know, in Israel, now we have gas, so we are very lucky. But until recently, we didn't have anything. We had only the brains of our people. You don't have natural resources. You are very small. For you, the only way to go and to become rich and to go from thousand, $6,000 a year per capita income to the Europe level. You know, brandy is very nice, but brandy... You cannot live on brandy, with all due respect. You live on electric chips, you live on sophisticated technology, you live on something that will bring you billions of dollars back for a patent, for a thinking. I really hope that with science and technology and with the advance, we can do it without the, without the politicians. I mean, you can, you can really do it. What's wrong with Because it's going via the private sector. And the private sector is free of politics. You know, investment in science and technology and using engineering and using that can go without the politicians. Schachtman was awarded the 2011 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery of quasi-crystals. The Japanese chemist A. Ishinagishi is also Nobel laureate in chemistry. Robin Warren, an Australian pathologist, won the Nobel Prize for medicine in 2005 for discovering that stomach ulcers are an infectious disease caused by bacteria. He believes that Armenia has enough scientific potential to make groundbreaking discoveries. You have the potential to do a lot. And just because it's a small country, it doesn't stop you. The rest of the specialized lectures will take place on April 13 and April 14 at Yerevan State Medical University Administrative Building. The organizers of the event note that one of the primary reasons to have such an event is to invite world attention on Armenia as a country with great scientific potential. And an interesting fact, Armenian scientists have been submitting work for Nobel Prize consideration since the prizes in chemistry, literature, peace, physics and psychology or medicine were first awarded in 1901 but have never won. We wish them success in the coming years.